I'm here from today's iPhone.com with another episode of Newsbyte and this week there's a few different stories to talk about all of which are interesting for their own reasons but first I wanted to get onto the one that really everybody who loves iPhones or loves Apple wants to know already. It's only been a couple of weeks since the last iPhones were launched but we're already thinking about the next one now. Analysts are already thinking about it too apparently and Peter Misek um, he released an investor's note. What they do is they supply notes to investors to tell them how best to spend their money on the shares in the stock market. Of Apple, if you've been watching, you'll notice that since September 2012, Apple's uh, stock value has just dropped quite a lot on Wall Street, which doesn't really mean that much, but it kind of does mean a little bit. So what people do is they go around the supply chain and, and check with sources and see are Apple actually working on something innovative or not and basically their guesses are just as good as anybody else's. Now what he thinks is that after doing some research is that Apple are going to release a 4.8 inch iPhone next year. This of course will be the iPhone 6 if it's ever launched. Now I don't doubt that Apple might well release a big bigger iPhone. It could happen but at the same time, I don't think it's going to happen just because that's what everybody else is doing. If Apple can make a screen that's larger and make a phone that's slightly larger and it feels just as good to use and it's a, as good an experience as the iPhone 5 and the 5S, then sure, why not? But they will not do it just to compete with the rest. They don't need to. The iPhone is the best-selling phone out there. They sold 9 million iPhones in the first weekend recently, so it's not like... I mean, they've got competition, but it's not like that's their motivation. One thing that got me thinking was, what would they do with the resolution of a screen? If they did up the screen size to 4.8 inches, the pixel density, if they keep the same resolution, would be 271 pixels per inch, which is below the magic 300 pixels per inch number that Apple uses to call stuff Retina. Now, the iPad doesn't have a 300 pixel per inch, screen and that's called Retina and the MacBook Pro with Retina doesn't have a 300 pixels per inch and it's all to do with how far you hold it from your face. Now keeping the same resolution is the suggestion that I would make as the one that makes the most sense. There are analysts suggesting that Apple will go with a 720p or a 1080p screen which makes no sense whatsoever because it's a standard format and Apple has never really done that on their phones. And it would mean that developers would have extra work to do, whereas if they just scaled up the existing resolution, then that would be fine. The developers wouldn't have to do anything and the apps would just work on a bigger screen. So what do you think? What will Apple do with the next iPhone? What size screen will it be? What resolution will it be? Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are and use Twitter. Next on the list, the list is on Evernote. I have no idea why I said it in that voice. One topic that made the news this week was that there are people claiming that iPhone 5S is bending itself. I'm just, I'm just gonna hold it and see if it does it because, no. I mean, I've had this for three weeks yet and it's not even showing any signs of being bent. Not at all. The funny thing about this is that the same thing happened last year. We showed pictures of the, the, the aluminium chassis bending and the screen coming away from it. Now, what's odd about this is that the screen isn't actually cracking or bending. So I'm not entirely sure exactly how they bent, but it's not going to do it on its own. It doesn't just decide that it's too small to fit around the screen and it bends. That's not how it works. It's kind of ridiculous to suggest that they could have landed on it really hard when they had it in their pocket and the glass just happened not to break. They could have had it next to something really, really, really hot that caused the metal to expand and then they cooled down and then it contracted and bent. I really don't know. It just sounds ridiculous. So let me know if any of you have had your iPhone 5 or 5S bent just magically on their own, please let us know. Also this week, the last beta of iOS 7 expired, so if you had beta 6 of iOS 7 running on your iDevice, you will now know that your iPhone or iPad doesn't work or is bricked. If you're suffering with this problem, there is a solution. I'll leave a link in the description box. It basically involves just putting your phone into recovery mode and restoring it, and it will automatically just get the 
public release of iOS 7. And last but not least, we think we have a date for the iPad launch. It was originally speculated that it would be the 15th of October. That's turned out to be incorrect. Now, The Loop, uh, run by Jim Dalrymple, I don't know how to say his name. Um, he is a very well-connected blogger and he knows people inside Apple who know stuff, as do All Things D, another reputable website. Both of them have pretty much said it's going to be on October the 22nd, and they were right when they suggested the date for the iPhone launch, and they were generally right as well when they predict pretty much anything. Whatever they say seems to just go. So we're not really going to doubt that. We think it's going to be on October the 22nd. And if that's the case, then we should see invites, official invites being sent out within the next week. And then we will get our new iPads. Now, what I wanted to know from you is what do you think we're going to see? I mean, we've got iPad 5 supposedly coming, which is a large iPad, but designed to look a bit more like the iPad mini. And then there's the second generation iPad mini. Now, this device is the one that we're not really sure about. Some people are saying we're not going to see one. Some people are saying it's delayed till next year. Some people are saying we'll see one, but it won't have a retina display. Others will say we'll get that and the retina one next year. I don't really know. If I was going to guess, I would say Apple are going to just release the second generation iPad mini with the retina display in it. But do you think we'll see Touch ID implemented already? Or do you think Apple will leave the fingerprint sensor until next year? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments and make sure you follow me on Twitter. I'm at TIP underscore Cam on Twitter and I generally answer every question that people ask me. Admittedly, I don't get millions of questions. So, it's pretty lonely on Twitter. As was rightly pointed out to me recently on in a comment that was to do with something entirely different, YouTube is supposed to be a community where I check for your feedback and I want to. You're the guys who watch our videos. So I wanted to find out from you what kind of content do you want to see? Obviously, I'm really keen on apps and accessories and I'll continue to review those. I'll do my best to release a news bite video at least once a week. Uh, that's how it's been apart from when it was busy with the iPhone launch. But what else would you like to see on the YouTube channel? I used to do a quiz cam where I would do questions and answers. Um, there's tutorials, hints, tips, all that kind of stuff. Let us know what you want to see more of. Again, use the comments or tweet me. It's pretty simple. Also, what should I have on the wall behind me? I was tempted to get some Star Wars posters or something to put there, but if you can find something cooler that I wouldn't mind having in the background, send me a link to a poster or something that I can get here in the UK and I'll do my best to stick it up on the wall behind me. I'm keeping that though. That picture is pretty cool. At least I think so. I've got it from Ikea, so I guess millions of other people have got it. I just happened to like it because it had a phone and it looked kind of comic-y. Anyway, I will see you again soon. I'm at CIP underscore Cam and I generally answer... I'm... <clears throat> I'm at G... I'm at... I'm blah, 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 blah. Oh no. One of the lights fell off my spaceship.